Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So it's already that time again, guys. It's time to talk some trash. And when I mean talk trash, talk a buttload of products that we went through for the month of July. We always go through a ton of stuff here in the house and it blows my mind how much we go through. These videos get kind of long, so I'm gonna jump right into it. So grab a snack, grab a cold drink, and sit with me and see what we went through for the month of July. All right, guys, so I'm in a different location because Trey is with me and he is in the bedroom, so I'm just gonna wing this. I hope the lighting is good and you can see everything. I'm actually gonna turn that on so it doesn't look cray cray but first thing we went through for the month of july is some suave body wash this is the ocean breeze body wash and it's supposed to be comparable to juniper breeze definitely was not the scent of juniper breeze but it's a good body wash as far as bubble bath that's what we used it for for myself and for the kids bathroom um, really foamed up well, except for when the kids start splashing around, the bubbles kind of go away. But other than that, this is a great body wash and I get it cheap with couponing. Went through a Purex Crystals. This is the Fresh Springs Waters. If you've been with me for a while, you know I love this product. You don't have to use a lot for it to give you the freshness scent on your clothes. And we always get this cheap with couponing in as well. I have a bunch in my back stock. If you watch my couponing stockpile video, I'll link it above. You know I have a bunch of these, but great product. And this scent particularly, guys, is a really good scent. I haven't tried really, I think I tried the purple one or the pink one before, and I like this one better, but I have to branch out eventually and try some new scents. But when we get these at CVS and Walgreens, this is pretty much the only scent they have. All right, went through some shampoo and conditioner, guys, and this is total and utter crap. Do not buy this ever in your life. I got this for 49 cents on a couponing deal and I wouldn't spend half a cent on this. This is so bad. This is the Revlon Color Silk Gorgeous Brunette Color Stay Nourishing Conditioner and Shampoo. I didn't even go through the conditioner. I used it once. My hair felt like straw, so I'm throwing this whole thing away. I have another on backup I'm donating because that was just awful. We did manage to go through the shampoo, but I wish we hadn't spent the whole month going through it because my hair felt like straw the whole time. And I know it's this shampoo and conditioner because I used some whole blends and my hair felt so different. It was like magic the next time I used my whole blends compared to this. This left my hair so stringy, so dry, felt like straw, unmanageable, would not ever purchase this in my life again. We went through a Bath and Body Works Ocean Citrus Foaming Hand Soap, and this one was pretty good. I liked it. It has the clean water, lemon zest, and bergamot notes in it, and this was a really good one. I would repurchase this one again. I always like to get the ones that are like ocean and citrusy, and I like the formulation of the foaming kind the best from Bath and Body Works, so this was a winner. Went through this from Dollar Tree. This is the Kids Foaming Bubble Bath, and I've raved about this on my channel many times before, but I'm not gonna purchase it for a while because I have so many body washes with couponing, and I'm gonna use those for the kids as a bubble bath instead of this until it runs out. Now, I don't think I'm ever gonna run out of body wash, <laughs> but if I do, I'll go back to this. But this one's really good. I've mentioned it many times. It foams up well, and it's a dollar at Dollar Tree. Speaking of Dollar Tree, we went through an angel of mine, Cornstarch Baby, powder and I just hauled another one of these from Dollar Tree. It's talc free, great, works great on Waylon and it's only a buck. Went through this St. Ives Even and Bright Pink Lemon and Mandarin Orange, orange Scrub. This took me forever to go through, probably about six or seven months. So it definitely lasts a while because I don't use this every day. I have dry skin so I use this every other day in conjunction with my other face wash. It is a moderate as far as scrubbing. They have the a gentle, moderate, and deep. And I love the smell of this, obviously, the orange notes and the uh, pink lemonade in it. And it works really well. So I have another one on backup. I'm definitely gonna use it. But I have some other ones that I like just a little bit better, a higher end ones. But this is a great drugstore option. We went through a Baby Magic Gentle Baby Lotion. And this is the original baby scent. Love the scent of Baby Magic, but I'm kind of getting sick of it. Waylon's gonna be two in January. So this is all uh, stuff from his sprinkle that he had and I'm just trying to get through it. We have one more to go and then we will finally be done. And we're just getting used to the scent and I wanna try some different things, but Baby Magic is a great brand and I really do love this product, but I just wanna to switch to something different. Got a Lime Away Lime Calcium and Rust Toilet Bowl Cleaner and I got these for like 25 cents at Dollar Tree way back when. I'm going through my stash and then I have some Lysol ones I'm going through, but this is a good product from Dollar Tree. You just put it in your toilet, let it sit for a little while, come back and scrub and you're all good and it does a great job. Through some Airwick air fresheners, and this is the what scent is this? Island Paradise. I rave about these in my empties every single month. I love these more than the Bath and Body Works. Wallflowers, I think these have a better scent and a better throw longer than the wallflowers do, so I will always repurchase these. And this Island Paradise scent was a pretty good scent. I enjoyed it. Got some more Airwicks in here, and this is the Summer Delights, and this is the Life Sense 
uh, line that they have with the Airwigs, and this one was also good as well. Um, I think the Oasis, Turquoise Oasis, is my favorite of all time as far as the Airwigs go, but I haven't been disappointed really in the Airwigs as far as since. Maybe one time I got one that wasn't the best, but so far overall they are pretty darn good and consistent. I went through a Carol's Daughter Almond Milk shampoo and this one was pretty good this one smelled like buttercream frosting the smell on this was amazing guys it did um i would use this more in the winter because during the summer when we have the high humidity here frizz is a big problem and this doesn't really help with frizz that much so in the winter we don't have as high of humidity so i think i would use this in the winter fall more than the summer spring months where I live anyway but this was a great shampoo I would definitely buy this one again and this scent was the bomb through a simple micellar cleansing water now this one's pretty good I get this with couponing and I just talked about it in my couponing favorites video it does not get waterproof off at all so if you wear like waterproof mascara I just tried some waterproof mm -hmm. mascara and it did not get any of it off so if you just wear regular makeup and non waterproof mascara it does a great job it doesn't burn your eyes you can get it in your eyes and it's fine but it does not do anything for waterproof mascara so y'all let me know of a good micellar water that gets off even waterproof went through a hard candy and this is the fast and fabulous 12 hour makeup setting spray I've talked about this before on my channel and I really like this I'm using an elf one I think does the same exact job and it's like two or three dollars cheaper so so far all these setting sprays I haven't had one that you know wows me more than the other it seems like they're all the same to me I don't know um, y'all let me know what kind of setting spray that y'all use I've, I've used the urban decay one before and I think it does the same job as this one the elf one I'm using does the same job as this one and the urban decay so so far all of them are doing the same job for me I went through some more hair products this is the AG hair care C spray and this is for beachy wave finish textures for your hair I got this in an Ulta favorites box I'm trying to go through all those samples in those Ulta favorite box that I purchased and this is the Davines and this is the same thing it's a sea salt spray I got this in my very first birch box last June and I'm just going through it but guys I liked this one this one's like $24 full size more than this one this one's expensive too in Ulta but this one leaves your hair very sticky and um, very stiff so you cannot work through once you spray it so I would not purchase this one again just for that fact and it has a strong strong smell so if you're not a fan of a strong smell for a hair care you're not gonna like that and yes we have Trey with me last couple of videos Trey's been in them because he's home from school he doesn't have school until the week after I start but I would buy this Davines again guys it was very workable you can um, put your fingers through it and work it really well it's just it didn't have a great hold so you had to put some hairspray with it but it had like a nice vanilla smell so it smelled great but it wasn't overpowering so I would definitely purchase this again I went through a bunch of soap and glory products and finally because I've been using these for a while and I love soap and glory products so the first one I went through was the sugar crush body buttercream guys this is so good it smells just like lime this one was the bomb Oh man, it smells so good. Y'all have got to try this. And um, Soap and Glory you can find at Target, Ulta, Walgreens. It is not um, expensive by any means. And this was a much rich formulation than Bath & Body Works, the 24-hour moisture. It definitely was more moisturizing than Bath & Body Works. So yeah, definitely go and find this guy because it smells so good. I'm definitely going to buy another one when they go on sale on Ulta all the time around Christmas time. I liked using this for the summer. It definitely is like a summery scent to me very fruity and I love that next thing to go along with that's the same scent is the sugar crush fresh and foamy body wash and this was kind of a thin consistency consistency it wasn't thick at all you had to use a lot of product for it to foam up in my opinion so I flew through this but it did smell really really good I know some people love or hate this but I thought it was moisturizing it did foam up but you had to use a lot of products so that's the only downside being that this is not like cheap but it's not expensive but you have to use a lot of product you understand what I'm saying so I would definitely buy it again but again I'm not gonna buy it until next summer along with that lotion because it was the bomb I got that for cheap like I said around Christmas time they always have a good sale on Ulta and then the last one I'm definitely gonna purchase this again once I go through some of my lotions this is the heel genius now this is for your feet it's a foot cream this went on and it says it's like pedicure what did it what does it say it says something about like uh, <laughs> I forgot what it said somewhere on the packaging 
but it says something like just like getting your pedicure done but it goes on I think blue it was like a blue color and then when you work it in it turns like white and it's very thick very moisturizing it did wonders for my feet this is a 4.2 ounce this is the full size this was awesome y'all definitely got to try this product I really enjoyed it and we'll purchase it again once I go through some other ones guys I don't know what happened but we went through like a million toothpaste this month what what the heck were we doing uh, first off we went through a Colgate cavity protection that was Wayland so he went through that one from Dollar Tree I just went through this radiant optic white little guy I wanted to get rid of that I'm trying to go through these samples this however I just went through because I've been going to the dentist if you've been following my Walgreens hauls you know I mention it all the time this is the fluoride X sensitivity sensitivity relief guys and a little piece of me died inside because I paid $18 for this at the dentist y'all know we get toothpaste for free or cheap with couponing so yes it was horrible to pay that but they wanted me to use this while I was going to the dentist because I have sensitivity and enamel issues so I went through it I don't know if I'm going to purchase that again and maybe on eBay or something because that was super expensive. I hated paying for that. Trey went through a Paw Patrol or a gel. He doesn't care. And then I also went through a Sensodyne. This just came from a Pinch Me box that worked pretty good. And y'all know this is the hubby and I's favorite. This is the Colgate Max Fresh and this is the one with the Clean Mint Breath Strips. We were like that Speaking kind. of oral care, we went through only oh, two mouthwashes. Excuse me. I was like, wait a minute. We usually go through like five mouthwashes. Same thing. I got a little one and I got a big one. This is a Scope Outlast. So this was the hubby's and this was mine. So we only went through two this month. Okay, I have a million candles that we went through. First off, we went through the Malibu Citrus Glow by Bath & Body Works. And I went ahead and put this in the freezer and cleaned it out because I'm going to reuse it for my classroom. So look how nice it cleaned up once I got it out of the freezer. Now, this is my favorite candle. This is the second time I burned this. Um, I burned this again last year. I got this at Candle Day for super cheap and was glad to see it there because this candle has amazing throw. Love this candle. If y'all can see this at a sale or next year if they bring it back Malibu citrus glow it is awesome it just has like the little paper top on it but a very good candle so that was my favorite for the month and I'm saving that jar next one is one by mainstays so y'all know I've been raving about the mainstays candles and this is the cotton candy and a lot of people said that the throw on this was weak but I thought the throw on this was pretty darn good and it smelled just like cotton candy so I would repurchase that one because it was pretty good in my book another mainstays candle that I went through was tranquil island now I did not enjoy this one I did not think the throw was good as you can see all these mainstay candles burn pretty well you don't have to trim the wicks I've said that before and I did not enjoy this one as much the throw was pretty weak so I would not repurchase tranquil island but so far I'm enjoying the mainstays candles I've got two little guys from Dollar Tree this is a black cherry Merlot and this is by Old Williamsburg I've had these in my last empties as well these have great throw on them this particular scent they smell like black cherry Merlot from Bath and Body Works in my opinion so if you can find these at your DT definitely pick them up they have great throw cute packaging and just a buck I went through this Intamin's apple crumb pie and unlike the other one that I burned this one had a pretty good scent to it would I repurchase it again probably not because it didn't have a big impression with me but it was not bad any last candle that we went through for the month of July I just hauled this in a Dollar Tree haul this is the coastal and the scent was ocean breeze and sea salt and the throw on it guys zero throw do not buy these coastal candles they had no throw whatsoever I went through another hand soap this is a dial coconut water and mango and I got this at Walmart for like 93 cents guys this scent was amazing I really enjoyed this coconut water and mango scent and I would definitely repurchase it again really really great I don't mind the liquid hand soap and the dial formulation very moisturizing and again the scent was the bomb I had a couple of lotions and face cleansing lotions this is the Bath & Body Works Shea Butter Sparkling Limoncello. My friend Gina Schweppe here on YouTube, she sent this to me. And the scent on this was amazing, like fresh lemons. I really enjoyed this. However, it's a little bitty guy. It's only one full ounce and you go through this pretty fast. And the retail on this is $4, so I don't know about that. And I don't think it was as moisturizing as the Soap & Glory one that I'm using right now. So while the scent was good, I don't think I would repurchase that guy if I saw it. The other one is the Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Little Baby Lotion. I use that on Waylon. It's just so-so. He has eczema, and I don't think it did anything extra special on him. And the last one is this EB5 Exfoliating Cleansing Lotion. Um, again, this one didn't lather. It's a cleansing lotion, so I don't have any, like, 
things to rave about this one, but it was okay. It came in a beauty box, I think. Another body wash is this raw sugar body wash, raw coconut and mango. This came in a Target beauty box. And I used this as bubble bath and it had a great smell to it and it foamed up pretty nice, but I did not use it as a body wash. But guys, it left the water feeling so silky and smooth. So it definitely has some moisturizer, moisturizers in there. So I, that came from Target. I've got another hair product. This is the Oblifica Seaberry Hair Serum and it's for fine to medium hair. I use this as like a heat when I did my hair, when I straightened my hair and I used it at night on my wet hair and then I let it dry. And did I see any like dramatic results? No, but I enjoyed it while it lasted. But this is a pretty pricey product at Ulta. Got some face wipes. This is the Pons and this is the cold cream and this is the evening soothe. I'm obsessed with the Pons face wipes right now, guys. They are my jam and I'm really enjoying them. I don't know where they've been my whole life, but they are quilted, they are moisturized, and they get all my makeup off, and they're very hydrating. So yeah, definitely enjoy these ponds. Went through a bunch of vitamins. These are the ones from Dollar Tree. I have a Restore's Multivitamins and a Vitamin D. And guys, if y'all see him doing this, he has sensory because he's autistic and he likes the way my skin feels. So he's not beating up on me, even though it looks like it. Um, so I went through a multivitamin, I went through vitamin D, and those came from my girl Krista. And then I went through some biotin. Now I can't find these at my Dollar Tree anymore, so I actually bought some from Target. But if I see them at Dollar Tree, I'll definitely pick them up again because they taste great and they're great for your body. I went through some mask and some foil packets. This is the Illuminating I'm Real by Tony Moly. And this one was okay. It wasn't anything to holler about. The I'm Real mask, I don't find that they're like extra special, but it, I enjoyed it. And this is the Bio Republic Aloe Rescue Mask. This came in an Ipsy bag as well. And that one was pretty good. It was had a cooling effect and I kind of like that one. This one just came in a Target beauty box. This is the K Bella Hydrating Pineapple Peel Off Mask, guys. Yeah, this thing hurt like a mother when I peeled it off, like really bad. Um, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be, but the smell on this was amazing. Fresh pineapple, and it definitely left my skin feeling hydrated, but it hurt like a you know what to get it off my face. I went through a shampoo and conditioner. This is a Shea Moisture, and these are pretty good. Um, little foil so packet. I wouldn't repurchase this unless I got this coupon. I would not pay full price for that, even though it was a good shampoo and conditioner. I went through this Hey Girl Relax by John Pierre Wash Off Face Max face mask. This came from my friend Mama for Nicole here on YouTube. It did not like get hard on my face. Um, it just stayed soft and then you wash it off. It did leave my skin feeling really hydrated and it did smell like coconut, which I enjoyed. And I think I have one more to work through, but I wish it would have like got hard and then washed it off. I like how those face masks work. I went through a Garnier whole blends and this is the green apple and green tea little full packet. I have a bunch of whole blends on backup that y'all know of, but I don't have the green apple and green tea. So I wanted to try it before I bought a full size and I loved it. Got some makeup products that I went through. I went through the Superhero by It Cosmetics um, mascara and this one was actually really good and I have one more that I just got in another beauty box and I'm excited because this one was a really good mascara. Was it my favorite mascara? No, but I did like this it. This mascara is one of my favorite drugstore mascaras. This is a Max Factor Masterpiece Max Mascara and this is great for lengthening your lashes and volumizing. It's really great for that. I love the wand on it because it's great for your lower lashes as well. But this one finally went kaput. It dried up on me. I was using this in conjunction with all those higher ends just to give me that extra length and it definitely works great for that. So I highly recommend this Max Factor Master Peace max, the tongue full, mouthful. And then I went through this Star Looks Pro. This came in an Ipsy bag and I thought this was gonna be my new favorite liquid eyeliner. There's what the wand looks like. I love a felt tip eyeliner. However, this thing dried out so stinking fast. This is the one that had the other end that had the star thing, like anybody would use that. I didn't, but I did really like this, but it dried up super fast. So I would not pay the extra money for this one. I like my Ico eyeliner the best so far out of all the ones I've tried. I'm using a NYX one right now and it's really good. It might be my new favorite. But this one let me down because it dried out too darn fast. I went through a Bath and Body Works Sweet Pea, um, what is this? Those are these bath fizzies. And this came from a student as a gift. And these are really pricey. How much are these guys? I think they're like $6 and some change. Yeah, $6.95, okay? So they're definitely cheaper than the Lush ones. And they were pretty comparable to the Lush ones, but I still like the Lush ones better. I went through an old hairbrush and this came from Walmart or Sally's. And look how dingy and nasty this thing is. 
Yeah, you can tell I've had this thing for a while. So it was time to get rid of this thing and retire and get a new one. some medicine products. This is the ibuprofen CVS Health. We've been getting these for a money maker. So I went through one of those. With my teeth, all this dental work, I've needed something for the pain. So I went through just one of those and I'm surprised. Every month we go through a sundown melatonin, liquid melatonin for Trey because he has issues falling asleep and staying asleep. And his pediatrician and his doctor, doctor recommended this. I went through, I didn't go through this guys. Okay, this is a sassy and chic brush on nail glue I could not get this thing open okay so this is how it opened and this is how it looked like I don't know if I just got a defective one or what but I just had to throw it out because I couldn't figure it out so y'all let me know in the comments below if I was doing something wrong or if I just got a bad I went one. through a replica perfume and this is the beach walk and this was a pretty strong fragrance in my opinion I enjoyed it while it lasted but I would not purchase a full size just because it was a little stronger than I like for a perfume but it was good while it lasted beach walk by replica I color my hair and I usually buy my hair color from Sally's but I'm trying some of these box dyes that I've been getting with couponing and I got a bunch of these on backup this is a L'Oreal Paris superior preference medium golden brown is the color that I colored it and I found out that it did just the same job as the Sally's and then I'm paying more for the ones at Sally's obviously so I will continue to use this product I went through an assured cotton rounds and these are from Dollar Tree I just hauled another one of these because I love these these are super thick they do not you know break up when you're taking off your makeup with that micellar water they um, are durable and they're soft on your skin so yes 80 for a dollar sign me up. I went through two packs of the Huggies Little Swimmers because Waylon has been having water day at his school and yeah we just need these and they're great you get two for a dollar at Dollar Tree so I will continue to repurchase these. I went through some cleaning products now this is the Scrub Buddies reusable wipes and y'all haven't seen these <laughs> y'all haven't seen these on my channel in a while because I bought a bunch from Dollar Tree that's Trey guys it's not a ghost I promise um, Y'all haven't seen these on my Dollar Tree hauls in a while because I bought a bunch at one time and I'm going through them. However, I haven't seen the Scrub Buddies at uh, Dollar Tree, I was going to say Target, at Dollar Tree in a while. They've changed to Brillo, I think. But these are amazing. I can't say anything highly enough. We'll always repurchase these. These have changed my life as far as cleaning up with the kiddos. So, yeah. Great buy, guys. If you can find the scrub bunny ones, buy those, but I think the Brillo are just the same. We went through a Libman mop. This is the mop that I use, and this is a Wonder Mop refill. It is machine washable, which I've never done that before. I need to do that. But this mop head works great, and it's my favorite one that I've ever tried. So, yes, I will always repurchase. We went through an Ultra Shine tin pack, and these are from Dollar Tree. Now, I just hauled some finished ones from Walgreens for $1.99. So I have two packs to go through of those. But when those run out, I will go back and buy these from Dollar Tree because these are the bomb and you get 10 for a buck. Speaking of Dollar Tree, went through a LA's totally awesome multi-surface cleaner and this is the citrus scent. I just hauled the lavender scent. I like the lavender better, but the citrus works just as well. But I just like the scent more of the lavender. But guys, you get 56 full ounces in here for a dollar from Dollar Tree and it does wonders for your floors. Some detergent I went through this month and I'm surprised I did not go through more. So that's kind of surprising because usually I go through a ton. The Tide Pods, y'all know I love the Tide Pods and the Gain Flings. They are my jam. They leave the scent on your clothes much longer than any liquid that I've tried before. I was a skeptic at first as well, but once I've tried these, I'm totally converted and love these. This is the Spring Meadow. I like the Ocean one better, the Ocean scent by Tide, but this one was pretty good. And then we went through an OxyClean because y'all know we get these for 99 cents at Walgreens all the time with that $3 coupon. Thank you so much to the ladies that sent me those $3 coupons to get that OxyClean. And this is the HD and they've changed the packaging since this is an old one that I had. But the OxyClean works pretty good. It is comparable to the Liquid Tide in my opinion. And last but not least, we went through some wipes. So I went through these Maxi Thins Feminine Cleansing Cloths from Dollar Tree. They are comparable to Summer's Eve and you get 32 in there. Now I have a bunch of these new Summer Eve ones that we got couponing so I won't be buying these anytime soon but when I run out of the summer e summer's eve if I don't get any more couponing I'll definitely buy these at Dollar Tree because they worked really well and they smelled good just like the summer's eves guys so if you don't coupon get those for a buck those are nice I went through these water wipes and they are came in a Target baby box and you get 10 in here and they are good they were very saturated very um moist you get 10 in there, but I think they're kind of pricey. So unless I got them with a coupon, which I know we get a dollar coupon often with that, I would buy them then. And guys, I mentioned these in a grocery haul. These are my favorite wipes right now. 
They are the Parent Choice by Walmart, and they are the Honeysuckle and Peach Wipes, guys. They are limited edition, and they come in a three-pack only. If you can find them at your Walmart, definitely pick them up because they make you look forward to changing your kids' butts. I swear, they smell so stinking good. I am obsessed with this scent. All right, y'all, that was my empties for the month of July. If you made it this far and this much through, thank you so much for watching and give this video a thumbs up if you made it this far. I know they get really long, but again, I like to give y'all a true depiction of how I really felt about these products and not just showing you a product and saying, yeah, it was okay. I like to give you a thorough description of what I really thought about the product. So I know a lot of y'all appreciate that and look forward to that every month. Hit that subscribe button if you're not with me already because I do an empties every single month here on the channel and they are pretty long and lengthy. So if you like that, I'd love to have you a part of the family. And until August, guys, I already have stuff in my August bin already. It is crazy. So until August with another empties, love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your evening and day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.